So anyways, you guys just saw that speed build right there. Um, I didn't do the speed build fully, cause uh, yeah, like the last two bags like weren't too much, so I just built those like behind the scene and like I my my I finished like the video at like the eighth eighth bag. So yeah, and I'll also do another review on another set called the Skull Dungeons to like the called the uh journey to like the Skull Sorcerer's Dungeon set. Uh, which I did a speed build on it, but I didn't put put it posted because there were like some problems with it And then um, I'll just do a review on it instead. So yeah And here you guys could see some of those figures already from the other set Um, they can actually connect with each other. I'll show that combination after but let's get Let's just take a look at what the set brings first. Let's take everything off Just for easier access and you know look around uh First of all, let's go with the figures. First, we have Princess Vanya. Uh, she has a alternate face. I like the, I, I I like the rubber on her hair. So, yeah. Next, we have Mert. There. Pretty straightforward figure. Um, I think this is Gen Genko or Greco. I think it's either one. I have I don't have any box with me. It's somewhere else. So, yeah. For pretty straightforward, I think. Wait, there is an alternate face for him. So, yeah. Very creepy, evil, tricky looking. This one's just like, oh, I'm scared. L L. So let me just put things back to normal first before I get anything further to do. So basically, in my my like the J Cyber Dragon video, I said I was actually not going to buy these, but actually at the end I decided to buy these because I watched the whole entire season again and I was like, oh, it's good, so I just bought them. A Wiccan Stone Warrior. I don't know if he's supposed to um hold on to like a katana or not, but anyways, this is him. Pretty straightforward. Uh, next we have the, um, Skull Sorcerer, the main villain of this whole entire, um, what do you call this? Season, yeah, season. Pretty creepy looking. I like his, um, green yellowish, uh, bone. The, you know, magical one. And his bat wings at the back. There's actually a, a mask with, like, the hat attached to it together, so... It goes like this. Pretty straightforward. And that creep, creepy evil look down there. Okay, let's get right on to it, the minifigures. Minifigures, we have... Cole, Hero Cole. I really like those uh, golden armor stuff. Uh, those are better than like, the, the uh, gray ones. I actually prefer these ones better because they, they look more outstanding. And you know, like... Yeah. Uh, other face. And next figure we have Lloyd. Actually, I'll just review on one Lloyd because like the other Lloyd is like the same. So, yeah. This time has like the dragon symbol for the shield. Uh. Silver armor, uh, you know, the, the clip thing. Lloyd's face. Pretty straightforward um, movie version headpiece that was used a lot, so. Yeah, next up we have Hero Zane. He actually turned out to be one of my second favorite minifigures of this wave, so. Like the minifigures itself. First is Cole, cause like I don't really enjoy those, like you know, silver ones. They're actually like, not that outstanding, but um, to choose from one of these, that to say, uh, it's either Lloyd or Jay, cause like for Nia, it's kind of not 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 too much a fan of that. So yeah, so. He has a archer with him, a you know, the shield thing. 
his face, the back, and there. That's him. This also goes through the other fi figures from like the other set as well. So Nia, I just showed her a little bit. Um, same, same thing. The other face, different face. I'm just gonna set things to us uh, off the side for now. Uh, and there's also another Mert in like the other set, so we don't need to go over that. Um, let's go over the gameplay first. So the gameplay goes like um, set three figures down here, R roll the dice. Uh, and this two dice. So it's this one. So if it's skeleton and then like you you get a heart off, so it, a health bar off. So basically like this, just knock it off. And then like um you move two steps. You either go this way or this way or or um the other way in the other set. So I'll just go like this way, right? Yeah, wait, so one, two, yeah, over here. Okay, next so, yeah, so that very space straight straightforward. If you get a heart then you just like you know, recover it, like yeah, recover. And then like um if you step onto one of these two rocks over here, one or two spin the top. You get earthquake, right? Here's not the only thing that moves. Um you can also put a figure in the cell, right? Um let's put a random figure, you know, the 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 geckos because they're also not villain in a show but in the set they are villains so yeah so what it does is if i turn this this also tends to fall as well but um you can actually rescue them if they if you just like jump onto these and and then at like, the same time they come down then you can just like rescue them so yeah next these things here also uh these blades also turn around to knock figures off um you can move these very easily like that uh, it's pretty locked here. You can move a little bit. You do have a, you know, all those stuff over here. The ladder. You can pull this over if you like. And then, yeah, I really like that face mask over here. <laughs> like the skeleton face. Um, and then there's some, uh, wet, there's like a weapon rack over here. When you come over here, you can probably collect some weapons. Over here, if a figure jumps over here and then they have like a low health, they can collect this health as well. So they can like, um, recover themselves. Next, uh, so this is the blade, the, the sort of deliverance of shadow, right? So... Yeah, the black version. And then if you come over here, you move, wait, push the figure forward, the door at the back opens, right? And then I'll just show you guys what's at the back. So just turn everything back. One second. I'll turn everything over. There's like um fish that is that's trying to be made. Um heart over here, you climb up here. And also one more feature before we move on is this. After you get the sword, that's what happens. So at the back, you have like the sword of deliverance of ivory, the white version, just like the identical color of like the black one. Let me put that back. Exposed gear. Um, some of these gold and stuff. I don't know if this is like su supposed to be representing on something or not. Um, the string represent this pulling feature. There is like an axle here. I don't know what that represent. Here is the skull sorcerer's room. Pretty straightforward. I thought that was that this thing would be taller, but actually no. I like how everything looked back there. No, no um, bad feelings about that. So. Yeah, there's also like a magical warning back there. I don't know what's that for, LL. So, yeah, that's it for this set itself. And let's take a look at the other set. The other set can connect to like the other set as well, but 
let's first of all let's look um if we turn this thing there's like a geo cell again which is you know pulls up and down the figure same thing you can like move up. very posable stuff over here about this though um you can move over here and then if you are in the skeleton ooh, dang you get fl flicked off with this piece here and by the way the grief bringer set is also all here so i'll also be building that as well maybe not speed build this time so yeah too much work <laughs> and then at the back here you can clip on to the weapons for the um, ninjas and then like there's like a bed over here they could pl place the figure there and then there's also another place where you could actually stand actually i just realized oh well so yeah i'm gonna show you guys how to connect everything together so give me a second Okay, so I'm done. Everything's connected. Uh, as you can see, the bridge over here, it can lead you to this side as well. You can come over here, hop onto this side as well to get the blades. I'm still a little bit confused about like the gameplay, just a little bit, but most mostly I can understand how you play the game already. So yeah, the um, game itself is just trying to claim the both, the both like the blades and you win. So yeah, this is it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed our review on the Griefbringer set very very soon. Bye.